I'm Dr. Sean Goretsky. I'm one of the child neurologists here at SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center. I'm board certified in child neurology and I'm also the division director of our child neurology services here at the hospital. Uh, in addition, I'm uh, part of the Department of Neurology and Psychiatry, uh, holding the title of Assistant Professor in Neurology uh, for St. Louis University School of Medicine. Although I see all areas of child neurology, my active interests are in managing uh, children with concussion and also children with diagnosis of cerebral palsy. What cerebral palsy means is that you had an injury to your brain or your brain formed a little bit differently when you were incredibly young. Sometimes while you were still in the uterus there was a, a forming problem. An injury can happen even at that point or it can happen around the time of childbirth or it can happen in the first year or two of life. But when you've had a, a problem with the brain, one of the important things the brain controls is our motor skills, our ability to move, our ability to hold ourselves upright, both walking and crawling and running, but fine usage of our hand and our motor system controls our speech. And so cerebral palsy really refers to a deficit in your motor abilities that happened as a direct result of that injury to the brain or a way that your brain formed differently genetically. So our job is, you know, these children may not ever be meant to kind of keep up with their peers, sometimes they are and sometimes our treatments allow that, but our, our, real, our goal is to make sure that they reach whatever level of functioning they were meant to and make sure that they can progress as fully as they need to in those areas. I'm not sure we're having more concussions, but we're much more aware of them. Um, a lot of the concerns of what happens to older football players and hockey players with some of the signs of their brain not functioning well, we're, we're trying to decide how early concussions and how many concussions you need to have before you have some of those problems. So we, we, probably one of the first, it's not really an innovation, but we're, we're really treating these concussions seriously at a young age and we may not know for decades whether that helps you in the long run, but that's, that's the first goal is recognition of the concussion and managing it appropriately. Cardinal Glennon has a different feel than most other hospitals that I've been at over the years. There's um, just a mission and an interest, even though it's a Catholic-based, it's more of a faith-based or a service-based hospital than a lot of the, you know, it's become such a business these days running a hospital that I think that mission is really kept in mind. 